youtubers welcome to welcome to my channel try it yourself today's project is replacing my microwave uh, over the wrench and I will be replacing my old sharp the one that I had for 19 years and I will be replacing one with a Samsung bow one for the good or Black Friday deal so uh, let's see how it goes so that's my old sharp carousel model and the reason I'm replacing it because the display is starting to burn out over here and the switch, the door switch it's kind of malfunctioning it's turning itself, the fan is turning itself on and on whenever I decided to do so so sometimes in the middle of the night so I adjusted it once but you know it's been a long time, 19 years is a lot of time so even uh, even without that they recommend microwaves to replace sooner than that so with this uh, good Black Friday deal you know this kind of uh, become the time for replacement one thing to keep in mind before you buy a new one make sure you double check the dimensions of the new microwave you're about to buy because they're not exactly the same and uh, if you want to make sure that all of the like paint on the wall stay covered and all of that and it would be exactly the same size so make sure you double check dimensions of the new microwave before you actually buy it so the price is one thing but the size of the microwave could be important for some as well before installation of the new microwave obviously I gotta remove the old one and uh, ideally if you're replacing with the same kind the mounting fixture should be exactly the same but it's not the case in my situation so first thing obviously we're disconnecting the power and trying to figure out how we're gonna take it down microwave removed just removing this bracket and now we're ready for the installation of the new one microwave has a, a pattern over here for the bracket for the hole all you gotta do just hold it against and uh, that's gonna be all your markers the first thing before we're gonna mount this thing we have to drill a, a hole for the power cord because my old one was in different location so you could either use this template it actually marked over here wall right side so you stick this from under the cabinet and that's the hole for the power cord which is they even give you the lo location over here five inches to the center that you're gonna measure from the wall see five inches and from the side eight and a half so you can either measure it I will be drilling the hole from the top that way I will have less less uh, debris over here falling on my wrench I guess maybe it would be a good idea to remove the wrench out but it shouldn't be too much of the problem just drill in a hole and next thing we're gonna mount the bracket under but that's going to be next step so as you can see that's the old hole 
Uh, that's why that's what you get to deal with when you got a different brand microwave. So Sharp had a location over here on this side. Uh, Samsung is gonna have to be right here. But the good th news is these two holes mounting one on the left, one on the right, or right and left, they are exactly on the same spot. So now I have this hole. This is gonna be holes for this uh, two knots over here. So those match exactly the same. And now I'm gonna have to remove this bracket over here on the bottom. Look like a J channel. I gotta measure it. I'm gonna go across over here on the bottom. And this is gonna be slight different mounting setup. Actually a little bit easier than the previous one. And that's it. Now I have the line over here, that's going to be the line for the J-bracket, which right now is secured over here with these two screws, one on the left, one on the right. So I'm going to have to unscrew it and that's what's going to hold this microwave on the wall. Unscrew. And those two screws actually go on back on the same spot. To hold the edges. Or actually probably on the, not on the same spot, on the above. Yeah, you gotta make sure you put it on the lower hole. So that way it's actually not going to be pushing against this dent on the bracket. And, that's, and now it will actually go over here. So that's how it's going to go. It's hooked like this. And the screw is actually out of the way because it's going to be right here. As you can see, this bracket gives you a whole lot of options for the screws. So now the next step is to find a stud right here in the wall and to do that there is actually a whole lot of different tools but this is one of one of the cheapest ones you push against the wall right here that's the beginning of the stud and now you go from the other side right here so that's your inch and a half stud right here right in the middle so we have one one over here in the center so that's that's where we're gonna go our center screw and now we need to find screws on each side so here's the situation I ran into I basically have only one screw that fall in on the studs and there is no studs over here on the left or right within this area so um, Samsung supply with this kind of setup which I will have to had would have to pre-drill a hole about half an inch in diameter to make this thing fit through so instead of that I have this nice neat looking plugs I will be using that instead first of all it's only 516 hole and uh, it's gonna look nicer instead of the previous installer tried to do the same thing and they have huge holes over here so that's the next step install plugs, install bracket and finalize this installation So that's that's what it looks like. Basically, 
everything would hold on this screw and the two screws from the cabinet over here at the top. So the one on the left, the one on the right is pretty much just support so it wouldn't rock left and right. But now it's super solid. Now's the time to mount the, this beautiful microwave. But before that, I need to actually do a little work over here, plug these holes, because I will have recycled air, I will not have exhaust running on the outside. So, one more step before I actually install this. So what am I doing next? I'm removing these two screws, one at the top, one in the back. So now the fans are blowing up over here, the, the, the blower. So I gotta turn it 90 degrees and put it back in here. I gotta install one of the screws to secure the fan in there so it wouldn't be wobbly. Put this cover back on. Just like that. Slide this cover from the top and run a screw over here. So that's how you do it. If you will be using recycled recycled air from the front inside the kitchen, and now we're ready to mount this thing. That's how you mount this microwave. Now it's super solid. Right here you measure those eight and three quarter from the wall and between left and right holes should be exactly 27 inches. And just like that and you run it and then the next step you plug it in and test it. That's it. Before I test it, I'm gonna remove all this plastic. Whatever's holding the door. One last thing. Install uh, two filters provided with this microwave and those installed really easy 
normally you slide them from uh, well one more filter charcoal filter goes over here from the top I gotta remove this three screws one two three Unscrew it, slide it left, and then slide it out like this. And the mesh goes like this. The filter, charcoal filter, goes like that. So. So that's installed. To remove it, to change that filter, you gotta slide it left and then lift out like that. A little bit tricky, and I think it could be done better than this, but it is what it is. Okay, so now next step we're plugging this thing in. Closing the door. And the last thing we gotta do is to set a clock. Clock right now is 10.17. start button don't see it right here okay start right there so let's see if it's gonna go for 10 seconds start just like that so that's how you install this Samsung microwave and pretty much any other one that would have a very similar setup as this one. Just one more thought to think before you choose to buy a microwave. When you choose, you think a lot of times that the higher the price, the better it is. You know, So this one, for example, we purchased for uh, $200. You could buy very similar to this one that would cost 300, 400 and so on. And the whole the difference between it, the power is exactly the same, 1000 watts. The only difference is this setup over here. Potato, popcorn and all kinds of stuff. And in my opinion, average household very rarely using this kind of stuff over here. So you think if it was to have one extra button over here, this potato, pizza, wedges, popcorn uh, preset cooking over here to pay extra 100 or 200 bucks anyway so that's that the Samsung microwave installation if this video was helpful for you give me a like and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel thank you